Hi guys, it's Nancy. We're going to be doing something a little different today. I'm actually filming from my phone because I need to use my iPad. And I found these in Hobby Lobby. Um, and these are the cutaway cards. Now these are a little different than the cards that they first came out with with the Cricut Joy. But I was making this and thought, oh, let me do a quick video for you guys. Okay, so these are called cutaway cards. And specifically designed for Cricut Joy. And I got two packs of these. I got um, this pack, which has eight cards, and it has teal, pink, and uh, plum cards. And then it has a gold insert. And then the other pack they had was um, navy, uh, tan and a light blue card with this kind of sparkly blue insert. Now, one thing I did notice right away is this card, um, stock seems to be a little heavier than the original card stock. So the original card stock kits that came out were kind of flimsy and these now have adhesive inside. So I'm going to walk you through the process here of how to make one of these. So you do need one of these, um, card, um, I forget what they call this card mat. And there's a little protective clear layer on the, uh, clear plastic on the top, the acetate. You're going to take that off and then you're going to tuck your card in. And when you tuck your card in, you want to make sure that this piece that has the adhesive is laying on top. So we're going to tuck this all the way in. The adhesive part is on the top. Okay. And then we're going to pick our design. Okay. So I pick this balloon design because as you guys know I make a lot of birthday cards I get a lot of help but I do make some of the birthday cards every once in a while um so I'm gonna pick I believe this is a free design too because I don't pay for Cricut access I don't I don't believe in paying for it unless it's a I don't know I just think if you buy the machine you product you should get it for free but that's just me anyway so when you load this, it's going to ask you what size card. And on here, it tells you the size of the card is four and a quarter by five and a half. So you want to make sure that you pick on the card mat and you pick the right size card. Okay. Then you're going to click next and it's going to sync up with your machine. And once it syncs up, it's going to ask you what kind of material. And you want to make sure you click on all materials and you want to pick, um, oops, let me change that. You want to pick that this is the cutaway card and backer. Okay. So this is a little thicker. If you just click insert card, that's the thinner card. So you want to click cutter, cutaway card and backer. That's very important to do. Now it's telling me to go ahead and load. My uh, Cricut Joy is blinking over here. So we're going to go ahead and load our card mat in and move all these other things out of the way. Okay. And that's going to cut that out. It's going to, you're going to press go when you're ready, press go, and it's going to start to cut that. So while that's cutting that, um, I learned to make this kind of card panel from Tracy Fear. So make sure you check out her channel. It's Not Afraid of Color uh, YouTube. Um, but yeah, I just had that on the desk. So I wanted to mention that. And okay, so now this is cutting. So what happens is when it's done cutting, it will, it will tell you to eject. And when you eject, you're going to get your card and it's going to have all the pieces stuck in there. So you're going to need to weed the pieces out. So weeding means um, you're pulling, you're pulling those little pieces out. Okay. So you're going to take a sharp, a little pokey tool and you're going to pull all those pieces out, which I've already done here. Once the weeding is done, you're going to remove this backer piece and you're going to apply your specialty paper. Now I should say you don't have to use Cricut. You could, you could essentially cut and make this yourself. These are just cute little kits cause they're already made up. Um, but what you would do now, and the difference between this and the old ones is the old ones didn't have a sticker on the back or adhesive on the back. So you would tuck this in to those four corners and then you would have, have that. But because now they have the adhesive on the back, once you weeded it, you're just going to pull that whole piece of adhesive, uh, backing off. Okay. 
Okay, so there you can see the adhesive is there. And we're going to lay the pretty side of this paper face down on there. And I'm going to line it up with this outer edge of the card. Just like that. And now you don't have to tuck the corners in. You've made this beautiful kind of faux foiled cutout card. And it looks like you ran it through your die cutting machine and, and, uh, and weeded everything out. So let me show you that again. Now this is done cutting. So my machine, my uh, iPad is telling me unload it. So we're going to hit unload and then it, it boots it out. So now we take this off of very carefully off of our card mat. And then we put our adhesive covering back on there to protect that. And then this is the part where we just, just weed it out. Now these little pieces do have adhesive on them. So if you wanted to, you know, try to um, save them, you could paper piece them onto another card. I'm not that kind of person, but I know some of you like to save and, and do that. You could certainly try to do that. I do recommend weeding before you remove that backer piece. I thought if I remove the backer piece, it would remove the weeding with it. It does not because it doesn't cut all the way through the backer piece. So um, weed first and then remove the backer piece. And you can also go in with the software and you can customize it. So if you wanted to do, um, you know, like pen writing on the inside or foiling on the inside and, you know, specifically put happy birthday to so-and-so or whatever, you can, you can customize these a little bit uh, for the inside. But I thought this was neat to show you guys because, like I said previously, the the cutout cards did not have adhesive on them. They were a little bit flimsy, and when you would cut them, it would kind of rip the paper a little bit, depending on how um, intricate the design was. But I thought, oh, this one is really cute. This is pretty easy to do. And I know a lot of you guys are looking to do more with your Baby Joy and I know this is not a new product. It's been out for a while. I hadn't seen it in the stores until uh, recently, but I'm sure it's online and so on. And I don't have a Cricut link, but I'm sure somebody on my team does. So I'll post that down below for you guys. But if you don't have a Hobby Lobby now, Hobby Lobby did not have these on sale. It was $8 a pack. So you figure it's a dollar a card, but I just thought it was pretty and for... When I mass produce my cards, I thought this was a nice, easy way. So I'm going to finish weeding this and we'll put it together so you guys will see what it looks like. And don't forget, too, you can mix and match your, your card kit. So in other words, even though I'll show you, I'm going to pull the, the glitter piece out of the other card kit. There's no rule that says I have to use that card with that glitter card. I can also cut my own foil card and stick it in there. So I like the versatility that you don't have to buy the kit. You can download the designs and add your own card stock, add your own glitter card or foil card. Um, maybe you make your own watercolor, you know, backgrounds like that background I just showed you guys that was made out of um, sprays. You know, I can always put that in the background of this. So don't limit yourself to only having these card kits. I mean, a dollar a card is not cheap. It's $8 a pack. So you can cut down your own card stock size to four and a half by five and a half or four and a quarter by five and a half, which is your standard A2 size card and, and substitute the card kit. And like I said, this design was free in the Cricut Studio, uh, software there are designs on there you can buy and i know if you have like their access cricket access or whatever um but again i don't i'm spoiled because with the when i had the silhouette machine you didn't pay for um your designs it's you know you can make your own designs and i guess you did pay for some of them but the majority of times i could find a free design and you can't can't really do that with the cricket it's one of the disadvantages of the Cricut 
in my opinion. But I think the Baby Joy is a neat little machine, and I think it has a lot to offer. And especially for you guys that are space limited, the price has come down a lot from where it used to be. So it's a lot cheaper now. If you're just starting card making, maybe you don't have a lot of time for card making. Maybe you're not into rubber stamping. This is a neat little way to make quick little cards. Okay, we're almost done here. I bought the foiling kit too. We'll try that in a minute. Okay, so now this is all weeded and I'm gonna grab that other insert card kit. This one, cutaway cards. And I'm just gonna grab the blue and it comes with the envelopes too, you guys. I'm gonna grab this piece of blue cardstock, blue foiled cardstock. But again, I have some cardstock here that's on my desk. I could use, I could slide that in there. I have some foil card here on my desk. I could cut that down. So don't be limited by what's in the kit. But this does make it pretty easy. So now I'm going to remove the adhesive backer here. The adhesive stays behind. I got it all weeded. And I should mention, you can use this with the regular cards too. Just change your cut settings to cutaway cards instead, or not cutaway cards. Um, what do they call those? I forget what they call them. Not the cutaway card. Cutaway cards are the ones with the adhesive. So you don't want your blade to cut too deep. Um, so then you would just tuck into these these little notches, those are designed so you could tuck the corners of your card in. All right, so now I'm gonna stick this on here. And that's it. And now I have two fun birthday balloon or celebration cards. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, pop them down below. Thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if you had fun watching. Bye-bye.